वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 2.82 एंड द स्टेटमेंट इट हैज इज फॉर मैरिड कपल्स लिविंग इन अ सर्टेन सबर्ब द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द हस्बैंड विल वोट ऑन अ बॉन्ड रेफरेंडम इज 0.21 ओके एंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द वाइफ विल वोट ऑन रेफरेंडम इज 0.28 एंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट बोथ ऑफ द हस्बैंड एंड द वाइफ विल वोट इज 0.15 ओके सो लेट मी फर्स्ट राइट दिस गिवन डाटा ओवर हियर हियर so let me first write this given data over here so this is a given data okay and let me represent husband with h and wife with w so the probability that a husband will vote it is given that he will vote is 0.21 okay similarly the probability that wife will vote that is also given and that is 0.28 okay and similarly the probability that both the husband and the wife will vote okay so again you can see that here and is given so therefore i have to use the intersection symbol so therefore the probability that the husband and wife will vote that is basically 0. 1 5 okay so on the basis of these statements what i can write here is that the probability that husband will not vote that is represented by this h complement and that is that would be 1 minus the probability that he will vote which is 0 0.21 so 1 minus 0 0.21 that is how much that is 0 0.79 okay similarly the probability that a wife will not vote that is also represented by this complement and now that would be 1 minus p of w which would be how much 1 minus 0 0.28 so that would be 0 0.72 okay so these are the two statements uh, or the two probabilities which i have deduced from the given data okay so now on the basis of all it what do we have to find out we have to find out the required ones so let me write here the required items so in a it is written that at least one member of a married couple will vote okay so at least means at least means either a woman or a husband or both of them will vote so that is basically the case of a union in which husband or wife or both of them should vote okay so this is the required statement for party of this question similarly for part b what is given here is that a wife will vote given that her husband will vote okay so we have to find the probability that a wife will vote if her husband will also vote so what do we have to find out we have to find the probability of a wife voting given that her husband will vote okay we have to find it as well and part c it as a husband will vote given that his wife will not vote okay so i want to find out the probability of the voting of a husband if her wife will not vote okay so not is represented by the complement okay so complementing the term this why so we have to find this one okay so now all the required data all the given data is here now let me solve it so this would be the solution we have so now solving part a which is probability of h union w okay and we have previously seen that the probability of the unions would be probability that husband will vote plus the probability that wife will vote minus the probability that h and w both both will vote okay so now we have all this given data the probability that husband will vote is here okay 0 0.21 the probability that wife will vote that is also given that is 0 0.28 minus the probability that husband and wife will vote this is also given and that is 0 0.15 okay so now uh, solving it first of all let me 0 0.28 minus 0 0.15 this is 0 0.13 and 0 0.13 plus 0 0.21 that would be 0. 
थ्री फोर एंड दिस इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट हजबेंड और वाइफ और बोथ ऑफ दैम विल वोट ओके और आई एनी वन ऑफ दैम विल वोट ओके सो दैट इज वट वी वॉन्टेड टू फाइंड आउट नाउ इन फाइंडिंग द पार्ट बी और सॉल्विंग फॉर पार्ट बी हेयर वट डू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट वाइफ Uh, will vote given that her husband will vote as well so probability that wife will vote given that her husband vote that can be found out by using the conditional probability and according to the conditional probability the probability of wife and husband will vote divided by the probability that husband will vote as well okay now we have both of these data so w and h that is 0.15 okay given here you can see divided by the probability that husband will vote this is also given here and that is 0.21 okay so now writing it here okay and when i will solve it i had got 0.21 Seven one, which is what, which is the probability that wife will vote, given that her husband will also vote. Okay, so this is what we have here. This is all the data, and this is what we had to find out. We have uh, solved part A and part B, which were quite easy to uh, find out, and which you can solve by using the conventional formulas which are previously derived. So now, in order to solve part C, let me clean it first. so now in part c what do we have to find out we have to find the probability that husband will vote given that wife will not vote so uh, how to find it out we don't have a data for this one but to find it out let me first give you a conceptual overview of this so if the probability that a husband will vote is this one okay this is for the probability that husband will vote okay similarly for the probability that a wife will vote this is this one okay and both of them has the intersection here and this intersection is what this is basically the probability that husband and wife both of them will vote okay and this is what this is the probability that husband will vote while wife will not vote okay and similarly this one is which one this is the probability or the area in which wife will vote while her husband would not vote okay so also let me color them so this is the green data which i have represented with this one while the blue area is this one which i have represented and this one is here okay so now uh, according to the conditional probability what do we have to find out we have to in order to find it out we should have known the probability that husband will vote and her wife will not vote divided by the probability that wife will not vote okay so now we have this data which is already known and this is here but we don't know this one okay so now how to find it out we know that this is the probability which is already given and this is here but in order to find it out what do we have to do from this diagram we can very clearly see that in order to find it find out this area what do we have to do this is the overall area which is probability of the husband while this area which is in yellow how to how can we find it out by subtracting this intersection area from this one okay so now we can see that this probability that husband uh, will vote and wife will not vote that would be this overall area minus this one okay so this overall area is probability that husband will vote and from it i have to subtract this one that husband and wife will vote okay so now i think it is clear that how can we find out this uh, overall if we want to find out this one it would be very easy because from this 
overall which is probability that y fill vote from it i have to separate this intersection intersection area and you will get this one as well and this concept will be utilized wherever you will need the probabilities of the items like this one or this one as well okay and over it i have to divide this probability that wife will not vote okay so now let me uh, use this one and putting values here probability of h is 0 0.21 minus the probability that of h and w this is also given and that is 0 0.15 and dividing it over probability of w complement and that is also here 0 0.72 okay so now uh, finding it out i will get 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.72 and ultimately i will get how much that would be 0 0.083 and that is what that is the solution of that probability that husband will vote while his wife will not vote okay so that is what we have here this is 0 0.083 and uh, that is basically the solution of part c which was somehow trickier because this data was not given and we have to deduce it from the given data so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon